my goodness. What happened here? Everything blown over. Wow. Wow. Summer is over, definitely. Look at that. Do you see? Can't even see the mountain on the other side. Oh, the amount of dust in the air. Wow. Summer is over, winter winds have begun. Okay, so most people think, okay, summer is over, you've got fall. Oh my gosh, look at all that that dust in the air. I don't know if it's coming through the camera, but it's so hazy. The sky. You might think, oh, well, that's like maybe gray skies for a little bit of rain. No, no, that's dust. Anyway, you see what happens? We don't even get a chance for our leaves to turn color before the wind comes and blows them away. Yep, look at that. Look at all those leaves on the ground. And that's what happens here. Look at that, a bare tree. It's a winter tree. These last few leaves, those will fall off over the next two to three months. Some of them will hang on over the, over the winter, just a tiny, tiny little bit. Look at this. Look at this, the rose bush. All the leaves were blown off of the rose bush. And this tree wasn't ready for its leaves to go. Nope, the plum tree wasn't. I mean, its leaves are still nice and green. And look over here. Look, you see that? That's the peach tree. That's it. Welcome to winter on our mountain. Now, Here's the interesting thing is, look at the apple tree. The apple tree still has its leaves. Why does the apple tree still have its leaves? Because it is protected by the tangerine tree, the etrog tree, and it sits a little bit lower on the ground. You know, just like here, you've got the plum tree. The leaves are still here, but the ones on top are gone. So this one, the leaves will still be here for another like two months because it's really at the end of December when the leaves will naturally change. So over here, you see, these trees also, they have protection from most of the strong winds from this lemon tree and from the fence. But if you notice, the ones, the branches that are up higher ha are losing their leaves. It's the same thing here. The ones that have protection from the wind here from the citron tree, they still have their leaves, but the ones on top, it has blown away. And that is called winter. It gets very, very, very windy here. In fact, most people would think, wow, the temperatures are cooler. You don't need to water as much. Uh, no. Now is when you have to actually really protect from the wind by watering. The, the plants really need the water so that they don't dry out. Wow, look at this one. You see this one also has lost its leaves because the wind whips through here. Boom. Wow, look at that. And that's it guys, it's time to winterize my garden. I've been slowly winterizing, slowly, but now, yep, I gotta get a move on it. That is if I want my plants to survive winter because the ground is gonna dry out faster if it doesn't have cover. The leaves are gonna dry out faster, so I have to make sure that the ground is saturated. I have to make sure that there's wind protection on the ground. And look, I've done that. You see that? Look at that. 
You see the mulch around the tree? You see all this mulch? You see all the mulch? Look at all that mulch around that tree. There's mulch everywhere. And you see these leaves? I'm leaving them there. I'm leaving them there because this is what is going to help my plants survive the strong winds of winter. That's what's going to help keep the moisture in the ground. Wow, wow. Winter is here. Lovely, lovely. Until next time.